my channel. So I recently just received my Mac Pro membership. Finally, after like a year of trying to sort out how I'm going to apply, I finally actually got accepted. Um, I will let you know how I applied and what I needed to supply to apply um, at the end of the video. So if you want to know how to apply, especially if you're a freelance self-taught makeup artist with no qualifications, then make sure you um, tune in to the end of the video because I'll let you know how. But I'm going to get straight on to my haul. I picked up $600 worth of makeup. No. It would be way more than that because that's with the discount. So probably $900 worth of makeup right here. So I'm just going to get straight into it and start off with the lipsticks. So the first lipstick I picked up is called Impassioned and it is in the Amplified Formula. And it is just the most gorgeous, corally, bright pink shade. I cannot wait to wear this in summer. It's definitely a colour right up my alley and I'm obsessed with it. So the next colour I got is Faux. Um, many of you guys suggested this on my recent Instagram photo, so I decided to pick it up. It's just a sort of darker version than Velvet Teddy, which is what I love in lipsticks. I love dark nudes, so any dark nudes I will love. So the next one I picked up was the famous Ruby Woo, which is in the formula matte. And as you can see, it's just a gorgeous matte blue-based red colour. I don't really have anything like this in my MAC lipstick collection, so I decided to pick that one up. And the next colour I got is Kinda Sexy, and it is in the Formula Matte. Um, when I swatched this on my hand, I fell in love with the colour. It's kind of like a burnt orangey nude, similar to Velvet Teddy, but a little bit more pinkier. So hard to explain, but it just looks amazing. So that is why I picked that one up. And then I got Myth, which is the lightest color, I believe, in the whole MAC lipstick collection. Um, I wouldn't dare to wear this by itself on my lips, but I definitely would wear it with like a nude lip liner all over and then just stab this in the middle or something. But I mainly just picked this up to create like ombre lips. Um, like I have it in the center of my lips today and I have Brave on so I think it looks really really nice and I'm really excited to create some ombre lips with that one and then a couple of days ago I got Brave which is here and which is what I'm wearing on my lips now it is a repurchase um, because the one that I had originally got stolen out of my bag when I was clubbing so I had to pick it up again because it's definitely one of my favorite shades Ever. Oh, and by the way, the lipsticks came down to $25.20 with the discount, which is pretty damn good. So the next two products that I picked up were lip liners, so I got them in the shades Stone and Ruby Woo. I just really needed um, a good quality red um, lip liner, so that's why I picked it up. And everyone raves about Stone, so that is why I also picked that one up. And then I got the All Raved About Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So basically, it's just an eyeshadow base. I actually put it on today, and I really like it. It doesn't really work that much better than just putting concealer on and then setting it with, like, a translucent powder or whatever. But, I don't know. I just wanted to get it because everyone had it, of course. So next up, I picked up some strobe cream, and this one is just in the travel size 30ml version. Um, the guy said I need to grab it if I don't already have it, and I've never tried it, so I don't know. I may as well give it a go. I have heaps of um, illuminating liquid um, highlighters. I really, really love using my Model Co. one and the Gerard Cosmetics one, so hopefully this one is up to their standards, if not higher. So yeah, that's why I picked that one up. And then I decided to get two of the mini size pigments. So I picked up the blue-brown pigment and the vanilla pigment. I didn't want to pick up the full size versions because I don't think I'll ever go through these. Like, they're still quite large for pigments. Like, pigments aren't really used for, like, everyday use. So these ones came down to $12.60. So that's why I picked that one up. Oh, and by the way, the... Strobe cream came to $10.50 and the soft ochre paint pot came down to $24.50. So next up I got the Pro Longwear Concealer in my shade. So I got NW25. He actually matched me to NW25 but I've previously been matched to NC35. 
35 so I don't know but it seems like a pretty good match and I basically just wanted to pick this one up for covering my blemishes but yeah I don't really have like a high-end blemish sort of concealer so this one came down to $22.40 and lastly I picked up six shades of foundations and these are pretty much for my kit I picked up two of the lightest shades NC15 and NW10 they look like that and then I got NC35, which is apparently one of the most popular shades. And then I got NC45, which just looks like that. And then NW45 and NW55, which just look like that. And they didn't come with the pumps. The pumps were actually $5.60 extra. So, and of course, I bought one pump short knowing me. And lastly, I picked up the MAC 217 blending brush. I've heard so many things about it and I thought while I have this discount that I would pick it up and I bought it for $25.90. So hopefully that brush is good. Otherwise that is just a waste of $25. So now I guess you guys want to know how to apply. So basically I've been trying to get a hold of this card for probably about a year now ever since I started freelancing but since I'm not a qualified makeup artist um, you do have to provide um, more proof sort of thing um, in order to get the card so basically there's a list of um, what you need to provide two of so there was stuff such as a business card a professional website composite card union card I don't even know what that is um, a professional reference editorial pictures, um, can't remember what else, but yeah, just a, a long list of things. If you weren't qualified, you have to provide two of them, and if you were qualified, all you'd have to do is just give them your license, I guess, and the diploma certificate. So what I decided to supply was my business card, so it basically just says Makeup by Jazz, Freelance Makeup Artist, Gold Coast Australia, my number, my email and my social media and then just some shitty iPhoto that I found on the internet. So I got these made at visaprint.com. Um, it's super easy to make one of these things um, on that website. Shipping is so fast and they're pretty affordable as well. So then I researched what a corporate card was because I didn't know what it was. And all it basically is is a bigger version of a business card with client photos. I don't know, that's what it said, so I decided to make one of these up on Visaprint as well. I didn't actually type in corporate cards for them, I think they're just oversized postcards, but um, I'll leave the links down below anyways. So basically, I just put my logo, some client before and afters, um, my name, freelance makeup artist, contact details, and then on the back I just have some more client photos and then a picture of myself, and then I have... Jasmine Hand Freelance Makeup Artist. So I sent these two in along with the application and a copy of my license, the front and back of it. And within a day, I got approved. And within three days, my payment was approved. So basically, you have to pay $60 um, a year for this membership. So on the application, like you have to put in your card details and whatever. And then about a week after that I got this in the mail so it basically just came with a letter and the receipt from my membership and the letter just basically said hey Jasmine welcome to the Mac Pro membership program um, your card will take four to six weeks but in the meantime you can use your 30% off discount just by providing um, the sales people with this so that's what I did if you guys have any questions or if you need help applying, don't hesitate to message me on Snapchat or my Twitter. I'll leave them down below or probably on the screen somewhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, then let me know. Um, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. So my next drawer is definitely one of my faves. It's just got some of my liquid lipstick.